you have you had any help at all? Have you had therapy? I did. I went um, to therapy and then left the next day because I found out I was pregnant. So you've only had one session? Yeah, but I want to see. I want to go counselling closer to the time of giving yeah. birth, which I don't think that's anything to be embarrassed about. No, that's all good. No, really. it. Because it's it's you know especially for a lot of single mums out there, I found that helpful if it helps you because you go into a complete stranger, you're speaking to them, they're not judging you whatsoever, and they're just giving you ways to, to but, but don't help wait with things. Still, it till near the end. It, it, it'll push you the way through yeah. and then you've got somebody you really at this point you don't need family you need somebody who is a stranger that you can go and sit with you can pour everything and just out. go back yeah because you know, they're not going to judge this, you yeah. they're not going to go all oh, come here and everything <laughs> will be all right but yeah. i was just going to say actually you, uh, I, I hear what you're saying in terms you of need offloading to talk to offload. but, but you do need your family yeah. and, and how, how have they been throughout all of this my mom and my dad and my brothers and my friends and family have been absolutely amazing my brother good is he's only 16 years old and yeah there's my mum she's here today and my brother's only 16 and I thought I was like trying to be strong and I, I walked up to him and I was like Jordan and you know he's only 16 I was like and before I even got to get it out he was like Steph I'm gonna be there when you give birth your birth <laughs> and I thought I was like I got a burst out crying so this is a 16 year old boy acting yeah. more mature than he is at 26, Jeremy, yeah. you know what I mean? He's yeah. saying he's going to be there and support me. And mm. honestly, they couldn't be more happy. Well, and my dad, you know, who I said, you know, you've obviously seen when he said he's proud of me and mm. stuff. I've never really seen him cry, and yeah. he's just over the moon. A granddad, he's going to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, if you, if you didn't have the, the support that you have from what sounds like a, a loving and supportive family, is there occasion that you would have... Has it crossed your mind to not have the baby? Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. When I obviously, personally, I'm taking the higher ground and I wouldn't slander Jez and say things that the public don't already know. He knows that and he knows in himself that he can't run away from this for much longer. Yeah. At one point, when I got a certain few phone calls, I completely broke down. That was the night before I went um, for therapy and I was on my hands and knees and I just, I couldn't honestly take any more because obviously, see, when I first came on, I said what I went through in the past and I yeah. said it. I thought he was the one to save me from that and never yeah. let me go through anything like that again. And I, I just lost six. I thought, I'm reliving the same nightmare, but worse, yeah. and now I'm pregnant. And I honestly thought, this isn't fair to bring a baby mm -hmm. into such a toxic... He might say it's a toxic relationship. He made it toxic when, you know, he didn't even stay faithful three days after he left the house. You know, if it was honest from the start, I think it would have been a lot better. I understand I've not been perfect in the relationship. Yeah. And a lot of my actions have only been the cause of effect of what he's done. And, and also, yeah. Stephanie, we do have to stress as well, while, while you're absolutely entitled to your opinion, Jeremy's not here to defend himself. Um, you know, yeah. we haven't got time to give him the right to reply on everything that you're saying, especially with regards to the infidelity. Mm. Um, you wanted to ask something, didn't you, Colleen? Um, no, I was actually going to ask, because it seemed to be, you know, when you first came out of the house and you were together and then yeah. you weren't together because you'd found out he was cheating. <laughs> again and, again. and I kept reading, they're together, they're not together, they're together. <laughs> yeah. together. Where did it, I mean, at what point did it all go horribly wrong? And then at what point did you think, oh, I know, a baby will make this better, let's try for <laughs> a baby? Know. Do you know what? My mum was saying this exact same thing. She was going, what was going through your Why? head? Yeah. What? And when do you know what? It was all over the place. Because I honestly do, I'm the biggest believer in love, and love is blind. And while I was in that situation, you don't see it. I think it takes until you're outside that situation and you're looking at the destructive pattern and what was going on and what he was doing, mm. how wrong it was mm -hmm. obviously i believe everything happens for a reason yeah yes. and i'm really happy to have this baby yes. but it wasn't right mm -hmm. and he wants and when you look at big brother now do you go what was do in you know my what? head yeah and then i was i was watching the episode the night before he left and i was going i can't swear on tv but you can imagine what i was yeah. saying and i was going he was like i won't go near anyone i won't touch anyone i was going yeah well, i am just like <laughs> um, we have a statement from jeremy okay me and Steph broke up after numerous arguments and fights over insecurities and work schedules. In the month after we split, I saw videos online of her in bed with guys, which is why I said I would ask for a test to prove I'm the dad. Having a baby won't fix what me and Steph had already tried to fix so many times. A pretest on a baby can be fatal. That's the reason I wouldn't want to do a paternity test until the baby is born. So he's he's addressed a couple of things there. Um, first of all, what what do you make that he 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 said he's seen videos of you in bed with other guys? What I think it's very predictable of him, and he's 
I can't believe you've even got an answer out of him. I mean, me and my family have tried for months and couldn't get a word out of him. Um, it's nice that he's actually acknowledging that there is a baby there now, because only the other week he wouldn't give blood tests and said that there was no baby. And for that, he's if that's what he wants to do to run away from his responsibilities, that's fine. I, I do actually pity him. I don't even feel sorry for him anymore. Mm. He knows he's the dad. And I actually was already pregnant and when, I, when that happened. Yeah. And I said, because all them times he... You know, went with other girls, which is why the top the relationship was toxic. By the way, I think so you can understand why he would toxic. be concerned seeing pictures. No, of not you. at all. Because he already knew. He already right. knew he was pregnant. Okay. He's using that as an excuse because he Jeremy can't face the truth and he's very selfish and he always has to be in the right. But the only person that's going to suffer from this in the long run is him when the baby's here. I'm just enjoying my pregnancy and. Um, he can keep running away from it. But thank you for getting a response out of him because May I ask I'm you, Stephanie, Do you still love him? Um, I did love him, I don't anymore. I think it's gone the opposite. Um, do you know what I think from the whole situation? My priorities have changed. I think for any woman, when you find out you're going to be a mother, everything changes. Yeah. Like him, it's not a part-time job, it's a full-time commitment, being a parent. Yeah. 26 years old, and he still wants to go out and party, and they're his priorities, swigging champagne for lunch. Good luck to him. Okay. But you know, but you know yeah. thank God you found out now oh, and that gosh. you didn't say living with the man and then and then you found out when I, you got the baby. I'm so glad I found out the man that he really is. It was honestly a lucky escape. For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.